Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Hollow Knight Blind. In the last episode, we began exploring the Fallen Kingdom of Hollow Nest, obtaining a map, a compass, and a quill. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing onward. Uh, I want to address a few things. Firstly, I've gotten a couple answers to a few of my questions. I now know that the, that the main character doesn't really have a canon name. Uh, they are just called The Knight. And also, I now know that the currency is named Geo, so I will be calling it that from now on. Um, also, I want to address the fact that I have been informed that this game has multiple endings and asked whether I wanted like a spoiler-free guide or anything like that to make sure I get all the endings and don't lock myself out of anything or whatever. And I think for... From what I've gathered, I don't really know like the context or like how to get the endings or anything. From what I've gathered, your very first experience with this game is important that it doesn't be like touched or tainted in any way. So I'm going to go at it from that perspective and I'm going to get whatever ending I end up getting. And if I like the game enough, I am not averse to making a bonus video where I go back and I get the other endings and whatnot. Again, I'm not going to promise that, but if I like the game enough, that is something that I am open to doing, right? I don't want to focus too strongly on making sure that I get the best ending, getting help for that kind of thing, because I think that that really goes against the point of a blind let's play. I want this experience to be completely raw, I find what I find, and that be it, right? I think that that is the way that would be best to go about it. So yeah, with that all stated, let's go ahead and continue onward. Uh, what was over here? Was it, wasn't it like a giant door or something over here? Not really a, oh, it wasn't really like a giant door. It was a door with a lock on it. That's right. Okay. Sounds good. And now we have, yeah, that's right. Oh, I love the little head. I think that's so cute. Okay. Perfect. So now we are once again exploring the Forgotten Crossroads. I forgot that this area had a name, actually. Also, sometimes uh, it feels like my controller vi- I might be crazy, but <laughs> sometimes I think it feels like my controller vibrates a little stronger and like that the flash looks a little bit bigger when I hit an enemy. Are there critical hits or anything of the sort in this game? Question mark, exclamation point. Because that would be cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and take care of you. Oop. Yeah, some of these hits, like, feel weaker. Again, I don't know if that is due to the fact that I, like, was in, like, a damage phase or whatever. But, uh, maybe I'm crazy. Yeah. I don't want to focus too much on it. Okay. Uh, I would like to get up here. Because, like... The fact that there's a platform there is very strange. Maybe it's just there to drop a stalag tight? No, I think stalagmites are the ones that go like ceiling to floor, right? And then slide tight are the ones that go floor to ceiling. Maybe? Maybe? Do I know anything? I don't know. Okay. Um, map is L. I'm still getting used to the controls. So up here was where we fought the big dude, right? For like, the worm. Oh, he's alive again. Okay. Oh goodness, okay. I guess I'm fighting him again. I'm sorry if nobody wanted to see that, but it's what I'm doing. He's got a pretty easy pattern to him. Nothing extreme. Okay. There we go. Just kind of a dash in, get out kind of thing going on there. And there's nothing else for us to see in this room, but we did get a, uh, a pretty nice hefty haul of dough. And you can't complain about that much. Okay. So, going down. Uh, we could go to the right, though I think the game probably wants me to go to that boss. Or at least I assume it's a boss. Like I see, I see big head with big horns. My brain says boss, but maybe it isn't. Who knows? All right. 
Let's go ahead and explore a brand new area. Um, or not, I suppose. Okay. We can't do it from that direction, but we can probably do it from the other way. But since I'm all the way over here, I may as well see what sights are awaiting me off in this section. Okay. There we go. I really, I, I'm really enamored with this game's, like, somber atmosphere. And, ooh, look at those gems. I really like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, like, crystals and environments. It's a really easy, like, win for me. Okay. Um, I thought that, the, like, the whole point of the quill was that it, it mapped. Oh, wait, no, we have to, like, rest at a bench. That's right, I remember. I hear someone singing. Oh, hello! You're cute. How are you? Oh, bury my mother, pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. That's kind of dark, Mila. I really like, I really like you. Ha ha ha, do you know that one? It's one of my f favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I bet you have a b beautiful singing voice. Ha ha ha. So what are you down here for? If you came to g get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's p plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. Ha ha. You are my favorite character so far. <laughs> I, I really like you. Uh, oh, bury the knight with a broken nail. Bury the p priest. Something about a crown? I can't remember the rest of that one. Ha ha ha. Maybe I'll just hum it. You're my favorite. <laughs> what a what a ray of sunshine in this dark world we've been introduced to. Okay. Uh ooh, elevator. Okay. What happens if I stand underneath it? Do I die? I don't want to find out. Alright, let's go up. Oop, there's a a side passage there though. I gotta know what's going on over here. We got a, a big old head thing. I'm absorbing, I'm absorbing stuff. What was that? Was that just soul or like, what was that? L2 inventory, that's right. Charms map. Ooh, I like this map screen. We can just zoom right in and see how it connects to other places. Okay, that's pretty nice. Is it all just gonna be like one giant map when it's all finished? I hope so. That would be pretty rad. I don't know what this did. I'm gonna assume it just gave us soul. Oh shit, damn it. I thought the, I thought it was up there. Oh, God damn it. I thought, <laughs> wow, this is, um, this is something. My greatest foe so far, the elevator. Okay, onward. No, sir. I don't want nothing to do with that. I want to see what's over here. Nothing. If I stand on it for long enough, do I, if I jump on it? Can I make the floor break if I attack it? No. Damn. Okay. Guess we're not going that way. Sounds good to me because this is this doesn't really feel like first area material anymore. At least not in my eyes. It seems too cool. Doesn't really match the uh the somber gray blue vibe of what's going out here. Okay. Um so uh if you are familiar with my Metroid Let's Plays, uh you will know that um, I uh, make it a habit to cut out backtracking. Um, if I'm just like crossing an area I've already been through and I don't see anything new, I usually just kind of cut it out and transition to me being over there already. Um, and that is something that I will probably apply to this Let's Play as well. So that is just a uh, 
a heads up on that one. Uh, but for now, it's still early enough that I'm still kind of taking in the sights. I really like the fact that you, like, bounce off of enemies if you attack them from above. I really like that little, uh, that little mechanic. Oh, I didn't see you at all. Ow. I was too busy focusing on the, uh, the big white guy up there. Alright. Let's get rid of you through the floor. No need to hit you directly if I need to. If uh, uh, I can't talk. No need to uh, attack you too directly if I can avoid it. Or rather, put myself in harm's way if I can avoid it. I like the fact that, like, these platforms have weight. There's a lot of, like, little environmental things like that that are really impressing me, especially for an indie game. This game looks visually fucking phenomenal, and, like, the way that you interact with everything really feels, like, well done and immersive. I don't know. I like it a lot. Okay, where is this? Here. Okay. So... We're supposed to go to the right, but you know me. I'm curious. Let's go to the left over here. I see Big Worm. Oh, it's in the background. Oh, that one is not, though. Okay. Oh, he's... Okay. Can I, like... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's grab all this, uh, this Geo. This money. Cool. I, I really like that bounce mechanic. Alright, that one, though... That one's just a jerk. We can't really do anything special with that guy, I don't think. Alright. Um, that looks like acid. I don't think we want anything to do with that. Also, this guy's a big boy. Ow. Oh, he split into two smaller guys. I'm hearing something. <gasps> Hello. I love these. I love the worms. <laughs> They're so cute. Or the grubs, maybe. They could be grubs. They kind of they kind of look more like grubs than worms, I guess. Okay. Um You know what? Just for the sake of trying. Yes, that is death. Okay. Just for the sake of knowledge. It's the only thing I like more than my Lamborghini. Does that date me? I think at that point, I think at this point that that meme might date me. Actually. It's not like an extremely old meme, but it's old enough now. I think. Hold on, let me take a sip of Dr. Pepper. Not my favorite soda, but pretty good. If I told you guys my favorite soda, you guys would make fun of me. So, we're not doing it. Alright. I want to see everywhere that is not the direction I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Because that's how you play Metroidvanias, man. If you just go where you're supposed to go, then you don't, like, experience or see the world. Right? Like, you do. You see chunks of it, but... I like having a little bit of freedom. Oh, yeah. And you get rewarded with things like this. Tons of money. Alright. Uh, I definitely can't make that. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and uh, slap this guy a few times. All right. Also, I'm a uh, I'm an avid map checker. By the way, um, I pull up maps a little more often than other people. Sometimes it seems like I follow maps pretty intently, which is what you're supposed to do with a map. But you know. Because, like, what if I miss something, right? Okay. I see what they want here. And I see what I want, too. I want money. Alright. There we go. I didn't need to bounce off him, but I chose to. Okay. So now we are in uncharted territory. Well, it is, it is charted, but not by us. Okay. Ooh, we got... We got heckin' worms. 
Lots of these guys going on here. Okay. Oh, we can go even further that way. Okay, but... There's gotta be some cool stuff in this room, right? Was there even a way I could, like, get up there? No, it doesn't look like it. Um... Maybe I can do, like, a high jump later? I don't know. Like a super jump? Okay. Um... Going further down seems like danger. So we're just gonna go relatively the way that we're supposed to now, I think. I'm really just assuming that this is the way we're supposed to go, because I mean, like, you know, they mapped it out and all. Uh, oh, this is not, <gasps> bench. This is not uh, necessarily where we're supposed to go, but hey, it works. Uh, we have bench. What is this like? A toll machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert Geo. Well, I gotta know what happens. Oh, there's a bell. Ring, ring. Hello, who are you? Are you, uh... The last stag. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways <laughs> and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of Hallownest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. Okay. It was a long time ago, but I remember when these highways and crossroads pulsed with life. These are the paths I first carried passengers through when I was young. Those travelers are long gone, yet still I remain. Now it seems it's just you and I and the furtive... furtive? I actually don't know that word. Creatures scratching and squirming all around us. Eager to travel the stagways? Just hop on that platform, give me the signal, and we'll soon be on our way. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we can travel. Uh, we can travel right back to Dirt Myth, Dirt Mouth, uh, Dirt Mouth. I know. I keep flip flopping back and forth. Yeah. With a lot of like the dialogue, I can I can definitely see why people compare this game to Dark Souls. It's it, it, that's not like the point of this Let's Play. I'm not gonna be like constantly determining whether or not like this game should be compared to Dark Souls or whatever, but, like, that guy's dialogue in particular kind of really rang true to what you might hear from a dude in Dark Souls, right? I hear a... I hear a sound. Is that another grub? Grub is a much more fun word to say than worm. So, I'm going to say grub. Even if they're not grubs. <gasps> we can open the... Yeah, there we go. I'm hearing a dude, though. I hear him. Here, ooh. Secrets and walls. How Metroid of you. Also, how Dark Souls of you, actually, now that I think about it. Okay. Uh, don't want to go that way. We want to go left. Yes. Okay. Let's go this way. Into the light. Even though this area is not particularly much more light. I also just noticed some of like the foreground elements. Oh, I see a big dude again. He seems like he's like supposed to be like your punishment for falling, I guess. Looking at the room structure. Ooh, he opened up a secret passageway for me. Thank you. Ooh, that was close. There we go. All right, we are becoming quite rich, even though I guess I, I grinded up to more than that last episode. All right. So we have mysteries await up here. What on earth? That 
looks like something I probably can't deal with. <laughs> okay. But down here, we have a, a jumper. Yeah, that's right. There we go. And this is a uh, very large room. Oh, it's it's the room at that. Okay. Ooh. Did I just cut off some like No, I didn't. For a second there I Oh, maybe I did. Cuz when I sw Ooh, I like that. Okay. There's like this little cloth here. I thought that I caught it, cut off some cloth, but I wasn't completely sure. There we go. All right. Oh God, you're a big guy, false knight. Why would you lie? Oh my God, oh my God, okay, okay. We're taking pain. Ow. What? How am I supposed to dodge that? Also, what the heck? I saw... I saw, like, the inside of him. Like, how he looked without a mask. For, like, a split second. Okay. Uh... Our soul thing is, like, broken. Okay. So this game seems to have Dark Souls-like respawning enemies, too. Where if you die, or you rest at a bench, I think, even? Um... They, uh... They all respawn. Everything does. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't like the fact that this is broken now, sir. Uh, I don't need to be this way. I need to be down here. Nice. Okay. Well, the false knight seems to be decently difficult. Surprisingly so. He's just got, like, a really big range, and if he jumps and you don't, like react properly. Yeah, I did cut that. Okay. Then, oh. What the heck? Oh my god. Okay, okay. So, okay. I have determined a definitive answer to whether or not comparing this game to Dark Souls is fair. Uh, and that, that straight up is just the Dark Souls mechanic of you die and then you go back and you get your stuff back. So I assume if I die again then I'm kind of just, like, right back to... I lose all that stuff, right? Like, that's, like, the thing, right? Oh, he's gonna swing. Okay, oh, he got a shockwave, too. Okay. Oh, he's gonna attack there. God damn it. All right. Jump back and swing shockwave. Okay. And then, there we go. And this time he's gonna attack. Yeah, got you. Okay. Nice. What the heck? <laughs> That's goofy. Okay. Nope, nope. Oh, he's just going crazy now. He's going hog wild, but that gives me plenty of chance to recharge health. No! Damn, you really have to, like, read that pretty far in advance. Okay. Nope. Okay. Okay. And then you're gonna do this. Oh. Now he's got stuff consistently falling from the ceiling. There we go. Nice. All right. Cool. Oh, damn it. Okay. Shockwave. Oh god, okay. Okay, so yeah, this is like a bit harder than your standard game fare, but it doesn't seem like crazy yet. So, 
that's good at least. It seems pretty reasonable. I do I do like how it is a bit more challenging than like a standard video game though. That is very appealing to me. Or I'm just bad, maybe. <laughs> Okay. You've got a lot of health, though. God damn. Oh, nope. That's gonna hit me. Okay. Damn. Oh! I also thought that was gonna hit me, but I guess he just decided to, uh... To go through the floor. Oh, I feel kind of bad. But... This guy's kind of a jerk. Oh, my God. Okay. Damn, that was, that was like kind of brutal, but also like, he's like, he's just like dead, right? He's not like completely disintegrated. It was just like the, the explosion of blood or whatever was like, wow. Oh, what the heck? Who are you? Are you going to hurt me? No, I don't want, I don't want you to feel bad. Maybe you're innocent. Who are you? Where are you going? You okay? Where are you going? Okay. Aw, oh, man. Damn. The, like, mace ball is gone. Is that a mace? No, What what is that called? It's not like a morning star, right? I don't know what like a stick with that on the top is called, per se. Cause it's not like just a club. Is it a mace, maybe? Cause I know a morning star is like the one with like that on the end of like a chain. At least I'm fairly confident, right? Okay. Um, this background is interesting. Um, that looks like really weirdly detailed, like, non-organic. Okay. Alright, so that's just gonna lead us back. But this... is a completely different scenario. No need to destroy the torches. I don't like what I'm seeing here. Um, we've got dead bodies all over. Okay. Save point here tells me that we should be fine. Ancestral mound. <laughs> Snail shaman? Oh, who is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange, empty face with a wit and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down to, into Hollow Nest's corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help? Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Oh ho ho. What is... Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Consumed the vengeful spirit. Okay. He just he just like ragdolled onto the floor. Tap circle to unleash the spirit. Spells will deplete soul, replenish soul by striking enemies. Okay. Okay. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, you've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but you seem to have slipped away but seem to have slipped away myself. Ho ho ho. Now we're awake. I was wondering whether you would do me a small favor, not as repayment for my gift of course, simply because we're now friends. You're a shady motherfucker. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of his temple. Such disrespect. It would be qu I would be quite quite grateful if you were to venture deeper and, and enslave for me. God damn, I'm doing a terrible job of reading, I apologize. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. Oh, 
I'm terrible at reading out loud. I'm trying to get better. I apologize, but sometimes, sometimes it comes through. I've never been very good at reading. Tap circle. Whoa, that's pretty wild. Okay, damn. It's got a pretty small hitbox though. So we can choose to spend, ooh, a really pulley. Or pill bug or whatever you want to call it. We can choose to spend our health reserves to attack. Also, this area is a lot more detailed than the first area. Holy cow. Oh yeah, get out of here. That's crazy. That's pretty strong too. But if I tap circle without any like soul meter, nothing happens. Oh, I didn't see you. Damn. Sometimes enemies kind of blend into the, into the environment. Um... Okay. There we go. Alright. We've got spikes on the ceiling. Also, I just realized that like the entire floor is made out of masks, and I I don't like that. <laughs> Get out of here. I like this. I like the I like the magic and like the risk reward of it. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh. Damn. Alright. So now I've got to use it to heal. Which means no magic fun for me. What is this? Okay, it is soul. That is what I was getting from this statue. Okay. Alright. So this whole area is like non-mappable. It all just kind of exists within this tiny, like, square of the map. Oh. Holy cow. Okay. Alright. Come on. Oh. Oh, but he's got these dudes, too. Oh, I gotta, like... Okay, I gotta charge up soul on these dudes and attack him with the uh, the magic. Okay. What was it called? Vengeful Spirit? Is that the name of the soul? Or or the, the spell? Oh my god. I'm getting terms mixed around left and right. Okay, so if I open charms. We also got we also got this. City crest. Stone slab bearing the crest of the Hollow Nest capital city has an insert on the back that would fit into a slot. Okay. Noted. Can I see my my spells? Am I crazy? There it is. Yeah, it is called Vengeful Spirit. Conjure a spirit that will fly forward and burn foes in its path. The spirit requires soul to be conjured. Strike enemies to gather soul. Okay. Sounds good. Alright. I want to see what this is. Soul Catcher. Okay. I keep pressing start. I need to remember that it's the touchpad button. Uh, cost two to draw more soul from the world around them. Increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with the nail. Okay. Oh, that's right. We have to be at a bench. Okay. Hopefully if I die, I don't lose... I don't lose my, uh... My rewards. Um, I think there was more area up there that I haven't explored, so... Just one moment. Yeah, I didn't go further this way. Uh, I would like to see everything that there is to see, as we may get another uh, special reward. Probably nothing as major as the, uh, the spirit thing I just got, or the soul, the soul catcher. That's what it was called. But we can get lots of money and a big blue thing there. I'm pretty sure I've attacked one of those before. But I don't remember what it did. Oh, right. It gave me, like, temporary health, I think. Right? Ooh, it's running away. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it gave me Binding of Isaac gray hearts, essentially. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm glad that I went back for that. That's a helpful thing. 
Oh, so it's done then. You've slain the beast. The poor thing. It must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. Oh. True, I suppose, but also you put me in here. And look, the gate between us has opened. Oh ho ho. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, it will find you. Oh ho ho ho. Alright, whatever, dude. Uh, I guess I should see if you have any more dialogue. Why do you hesitate? You'll get nothing more from me, I'm afraid. Though I do admire your persistence. Oh ho ho. Okay. Alright, whatever, dude. Okay. Uh, I want to equip this charm yeah so now we have all of our notches completely equipped all right so anyway i think that will be everything for this episode of hollow knight thank you all for watching this episode of let's play hollow knight blind i've been guildmaster wiggly if you enjoyed the video please consider giving it a like if you are new consider subscribing if you want to follow my twitch or twitter or join my discord they're in the description and i hope to see you all in the next one